Start in a seated position on your mat and bring the soles of the feet to the mat and very slowly just begin to round yourself all the way down. Once your back is on the mat, take your knees wide and the soles of the feet together coming into Supta Baddha Konasana. Draw your heels up towards that pelvic floor. Place your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your belly. And just feel your beating heart pressing into your hand and the breath moving into the belly. So starting now to take deep, full breaths into the belly. And as you exhale, draw your belly back towards your spine. And again, inhale to fill the belly. And exhale to draw it back towards the spine. With every inhale, filling up the belly even more. With every exhale, releasing a little bit more. Bring your knees back up to center and just hug the knees into the chest. Wrap your arms around the knees, grabbing opposite wrists, forearms, or elbows. And start to rock from side to side. As you rock, lengthen your tailbone down onto your mat and feel the massage of the muscles around the spine. Rock yourself just back to center Lift the feet, coming into a happy baby, taking the hands to the outer edges of your feet. Allow your knees to draw down and out, lengthening through the spine and maybe starting to rock a little bit from side to side. Again, massaging the spine and massaging the muscles around the spine. Rock yourself just back to center Slide the hands to the backs of the knees, engage your core, and begin to just rock and roll up and down your mat. And on your next, rock up very, very carefully Come up, cross at the ankles, plant the hands, spread the fingers, lift the hips, and exhale back into your downward facing dog. Press the heels down to the mat as you bend one knee, and bend the other knee, drawing your upper body towards your lower body, lengthening the arms and spreading the fingers nice and wide. Full breaths in through the nose and full breaths out. We're going to take that gaze to the space between the hands and gently just tiptoe your feet right up to that space. Taking those feet hip width distance apart, lengthening the backs of the legs, bending the knees as much as you need to, interlacing your fingers behind your back and as you forward fold deeper, Allow your fist to draw down towards the crown of your head. Keep the weight ever so slightly into the balls of the feet, again, allowing the sitting bones to lift, a length in the spine, and a softening in your shoulders as your arms draw over towards the crown of the head. Release the hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift up to that halfway lift with that long spine. And as you exhale, bring your hands to your hips, ground through your feet, and inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, release your arms and your hands alongside your body, coming into your Tadasana, toe heeling your feet back together, big toes to touch, small gap between your ankles, ground through your feet, make a muscle above your kneecaps, broaden through the collarbones, lengthen through the neck and lift through the crown of the head. Full breaths in through the nose and full long breaths out of the nose. Setting an intention for your practice today. What is it that you want from your practice? And allow that intention 
to move with you today. Blink your eyes open. On your next inhale, sweep your arms up, gaze to those thumb knuckles for that little mini backbend. On your exhale, hint through the hips, come into that forward fold. Use your next inhale to lift up to that halfway lift, shoulders down the back. And exhale, plant the hands and step your right leg back into that low lunge. Step your left leg back into that high plank. And again, lifting the heels, bringing the knees down, lifting the tailbone, and lowering chest and chin in between the hands. Inhale to slither through to cobra, belly on the mat, chest and head lift, elbows draw in. And very, very slowly, bring the hips back towards the heels, child's pose, anchor through the forehead and lengthen through the arms. Deep, full breath in. And exhale to empty. Inhale to press forward, hands and knees, curl the toes under, and exhale back into that downward facing dog. Take a deep, full breath in. And exhale to empty. Look at the space between your hands, bend the knees, and start to tiptoe your feet right up to that space. Keeping those feet hip width distance apart, exhale forward fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, gaze to those thumb knuckles. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come down into that forward fold. Inhale, lift up, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant the hands, step your left leg back, followed by your right leg back into that high plank. Take another breath in and exhale, lower your knees. Bend your elbows and lower halfway down into your Chaturanga Dandasana, low push-up. On your inhale, come through to upward facing dog, tops of the feet press into the mat, thighs are lifted, heart open and lengthening through the crown of the head. Take another breath in here and exhale to empty. Inhale to press back into that downward facing dog and exhale to ground. Again, deep full breath in and exhale to empty. Inhale reaches the right leg high into that three-legged dog. Exhale, step your right foot to your right thumb, ground through your back left foot Inhale, rise, Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward, full breath in. And exhale to open it up into that warrior two. Shoulders down the back, arms lengthening away, and with every exhale going a little bit deeper. Right palm flips up to the ceiling, and inhale to reverse your warrior. Left hand slides down to the back of that left leg, right arm up and over. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to the mat. Right leg steps back to the left leg into your downward facing dog. Full breath in. And exhale to empty. Inhale, reaches the left leg high into your three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb, ground through your back right foot. Inhale to rise, warrior one. Exhale, draw your left hip back, your right hip forward. Inhale to reach up through that upper body. And exhale to open it up into that warrior two. Full breath in. And exhale to empty. Flip your left palm up. Inhale to reverse your warrior. And exhale to go a little bit deeper. One more time, full breath in. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step your left leg back to your right leg, right into your downward facing dog. Full breath in. And exhale to empty. And again, breathe. And exhale. Inhale, reach the right leg high. Exhale. This time, step your right foot in between your hands. You're on the ball of your left foot. As you anchor through that back left leg, inhale, rise to a high lunge. Right knee stays bent over that right ankle. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale to straighten the right leg. 
and exhale, hinge through the right hip, extend through the upper body into Trikonasana Triangle. Back of the right hand to the inside of your right ankle, left arm reaching up, left shoulder stacking over your right shoulder, and breathing into the whole body. Take one more breath in, and exhale to empty. On your next inhale, rise back up to center, legs straight, arms wide. And exhale, turn your right toes into your left toes. As you inhale, lift and lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, hinge through the hips. Take the hands down the backs of the legs all the way to the ankles, the heels, or the sides of the feet. Find an inhale to lengthen through the spine. Keep the length as you exhale, forward fold. A full breath in. And as you exhale, maybe shift the weight a tiny bit into the balls of the feet. Again, inhaling, lifting through the sitting bones. And exhaling, finding a length in the spine, head coming closer to the mat. On your next inhale, walk your hands forward and just lift up to that halfway lift. Exhale, walk your fingertips to the top of the mat, turn your right toes and pivot on the left ball of the foot. Right knee bends over your right ankle and just step your left foot up 10 to 12 inches. Right heel aligned with your left heel. Inhale, lengthen through the spine. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Keep the length in the spine. As you exhale, forward fold, chin to the right shin. Draw the right hip back, left hip forward as you inhale to lengthen. And exhale to forward fold. Breathing into the whole back right leg and lengthening through the whole back right leg. Inhale to lift up to a halfway lift. Extend your left arm alongside your left ear. And now place your left hand in front of, on top of, or the outer edge of your foot. Find the length in the spine. Right hand either to the base of your spine on your sacrum or extending that right arm all the way up. Gaze starts to lift towards those fingertips. And as you lengthen through the crown of the head, you create space in between every vertebra. Release your right hand down, frame your right foot, and step back right into your downward facing dog. Full breath in, and you exhale and you soften. Inhale reaches the left leg into three-legged dog. Exhale, step your left foot to your left thumb. You're on the ball of the right foot. As you rise to your high lunge, anchor through your back right leg. Exhale, open up to that warrior two. Inhale to straighten your left leg. Exhale, hinge through the left hip, coming into Trikonasana Triangle, back of the left hand to the inside of your left ankle, and the right arm extending up. Hug the muscles of your right arm right into your bones. Long, slow, deep breaths here, stacking your right shoulder over your left shoulder. Use your next inhale to come back up to center. And exhale, turn your left toes into your right toes. Interlace your fingers behind your back, draw your fists down, lift the chest, little mini back bend here. Inhale and exhale into that forward fold. Shift the weight a tiny bit into the balls of the feet. Engage your thighs, lift your sitting bones high, Feel the spine lengthening down as the arms draw down towards the crown of the head. Use your breath to soften the shoulders and breathe into the space you're creating. Release your hands down to the mat. Inhale, lift up to that halfway lift with that long spine. Exhale, walk your fingertips to the top of the mat. Turn your left toes to the top of the mat and pivot on the right ball of the foot. Bump your right foot up 10 to 12 inches. 
Left heel aligned with the right heel. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale, chin towards the left shin. Left hip back, right hip forward. Lengthening the crown of the head down towards the left foot. And again, breathing into the space being created in the back of that left leg. Inhale, lift up halfway and extend your right arm alongside your right ear. Bring the right hand down to the top of the foot, in front of the foot or the outer edge of the foot. Place the left hand either on the sacrum or extend your left fingertips up to the sky. Gaze moves up to the ceiling. And again, drawing that left hip back, that right hip forward. Breathe into the twist, breathe into the length. Exhale, slowly release your hands to either side of that left foot and step back into that downward facing dog. Take a full breath in and exhale to soften. Bring your knees down onto your mat and just walk your hands back to your knees, up your thighs, bringing the heels of the hands to your lower back, fingertips facing down, preparing for Camel Ustrasana. Draw your elbows in and feel a broadening across your collarbones, making sure your knees and your feet are hip width distance apart. As you inhale, lift the spine, open the chest, and as you exhale, take the chest up and back. Breathe in as you lift and lengthen, and exhale to breathe into that back bend. Breathe into the space being created in that spine and use the exhale to soften. The inhale, you're lifting and lengthening. And the exhale, you're softening. One more full breath in and exhale to soften. Inhale to come back to center and exhale. Bring your hips to the heels, Vajrasana, hands on your thighs, and close your eyes here. Recenter with your breath. Watch the breath come into the body. Just watch the breath leave the body. Blink your eyes open. Shift your hips to one side of your heels. Extend your legs long. And just walk your sitting bones a little bit back behind you. Bend your right knee. Bring the right sole of the foot to the inner left thigh. Flex through that left foot. Engage that left thigh. Square your hips over the left leg. Inhale, arms reach up alongside the ears. And exhale into Janushasasana. Extend the crown of the head towards the top of your left foot. Bringing the chin towards that shin and feeling the length in the back of the left leg. Use your next inhale to lift your upper body. Bring your right knee into the chest and lift the right sole of the foot up and over that left leg, preparing for Ardhamatsi Andrasana. Bring the heel of the hand to the base of the spine and reach the left arm up alongside your left ear. Bend the left elbow, wrap the left upper arm across the outer seam of that right leg, and as you inhale, lift up through the crown of the head, and exhale to twist. Inhale to lift, and exhale to twist. Inhale, lift up through the crown of the head, and exhale to go a little bit deeper into that twist. Inhale to come all the way around to the left for that counter twist, and exhale to come back to center. Extend your right leg long onto your mat, Bend your left knee to the chest. Place the left sole of the foot to the inner right thigh. Right foot is flexed, arms reach, and exhale, lengthen into Janushasana. Bend your knee as much as you need to to make the connection between the sole of the foot and the hands. And now draw the crown of the head towards the foot as you extend the sitting bones back behind you. Inhale to lift your upper body, 
and exhale to bend the left knee, left sole of the foot over that right leg. Right arm reaches up, Ardhamatsya Andrasana. Right upper arm wraps across the outer seam of that left leg and we inhale to lift and lengthen. And we exhale to go deeper into the twist. Inhale to lift. Keep the lift as you exhale to twist. One more time, deep full breath in. And exhale to twist. Inhale to come all the way around to the right for that counter twist. And exhale to come back to center. Extend the left leg alongside your right leg. And very slowly roll all the way down onto your back making your way into your final resting pose, Shavasana. Wiggle anything out that needs to be wiggled out. So when you do finally come into your final resting pose, it's a true rest. No movement. Give yourself permission to melt and dissolve into the mat. Feel your whole body melting and dissolving. Feel your whole body melting and dissolving. Allow any thoughts that might come in just acknowledge them and release them. Allow your heart to melt. Allow your spirit to lift and float away. Give yourself permission to float to be light, to be open, and to rest. Either stay here in your Shavasana just for a few more minutes or begin to find movement in your fingers and your toes, your hands and your feet, bringing the knees into the chest, taking a roll over to that right-hand side of your mat, gently pressing yourself all the way up to your comfortable seated position, acknowledging your practice today, blinking the eyes open, and carrying on for the rest of your day.